Hello everyone, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to create this smoothly animated liquid gauge progress animated component with React Native Skia and React Native Reanimated. So yeah, it uh, has some nice water wave effect. It also animates on the value change, it animates the text, etc. So this is it. Let's start. We begin with simple component and draw a circle. So import canvas and circle from the React Native Skia. Uh, calculate radius is the half of size of our canvas. So canvas will be width and height of size. And interesting point here, we need to subtract half of circle thickness, which basically a relative value of the radius. So if we change it, it will be thicker. And if we remove this subtraction, you see the half of the stroke width is Cut it, so we need to subtract it. Next, let's add inner circle. So, first of all, have some basic calculation. The circle fill gap is this is distance between the outer circle and inner circle. This is the whole margin. So this is the outer circle width and the fill gap. And the radius is basically the radius minus gap and the width. And we change the style from the stroke to fill and we have filled circle here. In next step we have a lot of code it's uh, hard to break down in smaller pieces, but let's try to figure out what's happened here. First of all, we wrap our inner circle in the group and apply clip pass to it. So let's take a look how this uh, pass actually looks. Let's do canvas. Uh, twice bigger and let's render the pass. So if we uh, comment our inner circle group, you see we rendered uh, the area with two waves and it clips our circle to this shape, like if we apply the clip to the group, it will look like this. So let's take a look how we generate the clip pass. The clip pass we are taken from the clip SVG pass, which we created with clip area function and clip area function is the area function from D3 library, uh, which take the data. Data is the simply 40 points multiplied by wave clip count. In our case, we have two waves. So it's 80 points. You can treat it like x, y. So basically 80 tuples. And we pass this data to this function and each point generate two coordinates. The x0 and x1 one is basically the same, so 
it use one function because it's uh, quite the same each x point for top and the bottom are the same for y0 we have the sine calculation so it basically take this wave Uh, take the sign uh, function result and interpolate it with wave scale y function which also the function from d3 scale liner it's uh, simply interpolates from domain 0 to 1 the values from the range so if the value 0 0.1 here and here it will be from 0 to 100 it will be 10 if it will be from 100 to 200 it will be 110 something like this so this is actually produce our wave this function and here it's simply the bottom line uh, this code very well commented each line is explained and yeah we don't dive too deep into it but if you have question just put uh, your question in the comment uh, and i will answer to you okay next step we add the text basically we draw text twice one on top of our inner circle and it's clipped by clip pass of our group and another one is underneath of the uh, our inner circle and we have different colors here so it makes effect that it put piece of it put underwater so really nice and cool so let's quickly look uh, what we pose as a parameter to the text of react native skia so we need to create skia font we use font hook put the actual font file i download robot about for free from google put the font size it's half of our font size then we calculate the text width to be able center it and then apply to translate x position and same we do for translate y to be able position it in the center now we can finally add the animation so if we take a look at our clip pass we apply skia matrix to position it by x and y axis so now we will do animation of this position with react native reanimated so let's paste this code here so we created translate x shared value and on mount we start animation infinity loop we animation which run with timing duration nine second and you see it moving slowly slowly to the left we wrap our clip pass with use derived value and here on the transform matrix we apply our uh, animated translate x value to actually move our wave to the lens of the wave and then repeat again and again so it going in the infinity loop let's do the same trick with y-axis 
So we create animated value to animate the person of our component field. Do it quicker just in one second. And here let's replace it with translate. Sorry, uh, translate y percent value. And you see when we restart our app, the wave is grow. And the last thing today, we will add animation of the text. So basically same thing as we did for X and Y axis, we creating animated text value, uh, run some animation for it. We animated from zero to our value we pass to our component, 45 in our case. And then we will use text as derived value and just return a string which use our animated shared value from React Native reanimated. Let's save and you see the text is counting from 0 to 45 on start of our component. Let's take a look again. Super cool. Okay, that's it for today. If you're still watching, I hope uh, you like it and you can press like button. And we'll see you in the new videos.